it's both like the easiest, most absurd thing in the world. And it's, of course, deeply complicated, right? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, the debt ceiling itself, it, it blows my mind every time when we get to this. It's like, are we really threatening to just like shut down the country over an imaginary set of like we've just made up a random number we like threw a dart at a board and went there it's completely it, we could be arguing over oh yeah you know the 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 debt limit is a uh, 25 booble dabble devils like we could make up our own fuck it doesn't matter it is <laughs> pure imagination willy wonka is running the whole goddamn show here and yet we are completely beholden to it so from that point alone it is it is nonsense we should just eliminate the debt ceiling so clean simple done then we wouldn't have this opportunity for the factions to go to war with each other at every time we have this same fight and debate it should be very easy and of course we know that in the past republicans when they're in charge of things make it very easy when the republicans are in charge of things they simply go yes let's vote to raise the debt limit and then they raise the debt limit and everybody's fine when the democrats are in charge of things republicans go oh <gasps> Oh, they clutch the pearls. My goodness, the debt limit. Whatever shall we do? You can't expect us to vote again on this. Like, it's the I mean, most <laughs> melodramatic acting you've ever seen in your entire life. These people are, like, clutching their hearts. And it's a, like it's like a Bugs Bunny cartoon, basically, is what's That's happening. That's great. It's nonsense. And it's infuriating because we just had this great report come out for the Center of american project progress cap whatever that stands for i don't know i don't i don't follow i just learned the acronym but they put out a great report a couple weeks ago maybe a month ago that specifically said that the bush tax cuts and the trump tax cuts were a leading driver of the debt that is what drove the debt up so we have republicans implementing these tax policies which add huge amounts to the debt And then they turn around and say, oh, no, the debt's too high. Somebody's going to have to pay for that. I guess it should be mm, all of you. We should be able to just give tax cuts to the rich and then everybody else should have to pay for them by way of slashing programs that people depend on. Just saying, you know what? (sighs) Do people really need food? I don't think so, you goddamn money grubber. What are you doing, like, you dependent assholes? You don't need food. You don't need housing. You don't need health care. Cut it all. Also, uh, my very poor, sad friend here with the big puppy dog eyes, the billionaire over there, he needs more of his money. Let's give him a little bit more. Like, that. constantly, this is what they're doing. And it, it just makes me insane. So this is where we are. Republicans are absolutely demanding cuts to program to bring the debt down meanwhile democrats have to some extent been saying hey it's real easy if you care about the debt all we have to do is reverse some of these tax cuts all we have to do is raise taxes on billionaires just a little bit just a tiny little bit they won't even notice but if we just do that some then we have enough revenue coming in and Republicans hardlined that immediately and said, we, no, that, we won't even discuss it. That is so horrific to us. We will not even consider it off the table. Uh, and so it's, it's been this really frustrating thing. And from my perspective, as someone in the sort of progressive activism community, it is a constantly frustrating place because we don't have a body of democratic lawmakers that we can trust to simply stand firm. Instead, we have a real mixed bag and we have a handful of Democratics uh, and independent, for that matter, senators who are willing to say, hey, this is bullshit. We're going to call it out. But we have quite a slate of Democratic senators and and uh, House members as well who say, well, you know, from what I understand of being fair, it means that everybody should, we should do a little bit from here and a little bit from there with no real understanding of what any sort of equity or fairness might be. And so we are stuck in this place where we have to scream at the people on our side to simply not betray us, to stand strong. And that is kind of what we're doing uh, a little bit here with this debt ceiling fight. And then additionally, We have to scream to make it very clear that Republicans are the ones 
creating this crisis. This crisis does not need to exist. When they are in charge, it doesn't exist, not because they are doing something else. They, they go along and do everything we're asking when, it, when it's on them. But they create this crisis so that it can look like a democratic in, administration is, uh, you know, at fault. Um, so we have to scream to try and get the media to hear that as well and put forth a narrative that is at least somewhat <laughs> elaborating on what is really happening here. So